Sustainable urban agriculture could also offer environmental, health, and social benefits. Research from UC Berkeley professor of agroecology, Miguel Altieri, shows that raising fresh fruits, vegetables, and some animal products near consumers in urban areas can improve local food security and nutrition, especially for underserved communities. He wrote in an article that originally appeared in The Conversation that feeding the cities of the nine county San Francisco Bay Area, where he teaches, has a total population of some seven million and involves importing two and a half to three million tons of food every day over an average distance of 500 to 1,000 miles. One recent survey that Alteri cites suggests that urban agriculture could help cities achieve self-sufficiency. One example, researchers have calculated that Cleveland, Ohio, with a population of 400,000, has the potential to meet 100% of its urban dwellers' fresh vegetable needs, 50% of their poultry and egg requirements, and 100% of their demand for honey. Cities such as Oakland, California, just five miles away from Berkeley, where he teaches, typically is known as a food desert. But it also has 1,200 acres of underdeveloped open space mostly public parcels of arable land, which if used for urban agriculture and added farming practice training, could produce 40 million kilograms of vegetables, enough to provide 100 kilograms per year per person to more than 90% of Oakland's residents. The major drawback, he writes, is that most obstacles to scaling up urban agriculture are political. In 2014, California enacted AB 511, which set out mechanisms for cities to establish urban agriculture incentive zones, but did not address land access. One solution, he points out, would be for cities to make vacant and unused public land available for urban farming under low-fee, multi-year leases. In his view, the ideal strategy would be to pursue land reform similar to that practiced in Cuba, where the government provides 32 acres to each farmer within a few miles around major cities to anyone interested in producing food. Between 10 and 20 percent of their harvest is donated to social service organizations, including schools, hospitals, and senior centers. Certainly a reform that we should look at here.